press conference. This is the press conference featuring Oral Roberts University. We should have head coach Paul Mills. There he is. There's head coach Paul Mills right now. Uh, after coach, we will have uh, sophomore guard Max Asmus. But coach, we're going to start with you. We're going to have an opening statement from Coach Mills. And then after he's done, uh, we'll take questions. Uh, again, media members, if you have a question for coach, please use the raise hand function. Uh, and when you are asked to, when you're called upon to ask your question, please give your name and your affiliation. Coach cannot see you, so please give your name and affiliation when you're called upon. Coach, if you could just give us an opening statement. One, I am so proud of um, our players, um, who they are as men, uh, for how they represented this university, for how they represented their families, um, for how they fought for one another. And I'm just so thankful um, to be around those guys. I've always felt that good players and good teams teach me more than I ever have the opportunity to teach them. And, and that was obviously the case this year. Um, um, the game was losing is totally my fault. Um, I, I've gotten three technical fouls, including tonight's in my entire career. And to get a technical and when you lose by two, um, it's a tough pill to swallow. All right, we're ready to take questions. Once again, if you have a question for coach, please use the raise hand function. And when you're called upon, uh, please give your name and affiliation. We're going to start with Pat Forty. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, Paul, the, the last play, you guys got a great look. Could you please describe what you were hoping for and then what you saw as the play unfolded? Yeah, exactly that. I mean, mm -hmm. put, putting the ball in Max's hands and allow him to make a decision. He, we gave him a pass option and we gave him a dribble option. And um, to his credit, he, he's super bright. Uh, he's just a terrific young man, picks up things really quickly and understood, had great court awareness, had great um, selection on, on the shot. And unfortunately, it didn't go in. OK, next, we're going to go with Caden uh, McFarland. Caden, go ahead. Caden, are you there? OK, we're going to uh, not go with Caden. We will go with uh, Daniel Rodriguez. Daniel, go ahead. Hey, Coach. This is Daniel Rodriguez with This League with Daniel. Uh, last time we spoke was in September. We were discussing if there even was going to be a season amid maybe all the cancellations in sports. How would you describe that point to where you, where you took your team going to the Sweet 16 winning the conference tournament? Yeah, I mean, huge credit to the NCAA and, and the devotion um, and the commitment that it took in, in order to pull this tournament off. And, and, and everything has been fantastic, um, just how we've been treated, the opportunity to for your players to experience March Madness is great. And it, it's a huge credit to the people in, in at the NCAA in order to make this happen this year, given the current conditions of COVID. Our next question is going to come from Austin Montgomery. Austin, go ahead. Hey, Coach. I just wanted to just uh, ask about your guys' um, toughness on the defensive end. You guys held um, Moses Moody to 420 shooting and held them to 37% from the field and 11% from three. Can you just kind of discuss the defensive effort and how, how were you guys able to slow down um, Arkansas today? You're breaking up, so I can't, couldn't hear all of your question. Um, I mean, defensively, I thought we were solid. I didn't, I didn't think we were great. Um, but th th there's a time and a place to go back and look at it, but it's not right now. Once again, a reminder, when you ask your question, please give your name and your affiliation. Please note that Coach cannot see you, nor does he see a list of people who are on this call. So give your name and your affiliation. We're going to go with Carter Hill next. Carter, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, Carter Hill with fifth quarter. Congratulations on a 
fantastic season. You guys were fun to watch. You talked about that last play earlier on. Did you think when Max put up that shot that it was going in when it when he released it? Yes. Okay, our next question is going to come from Kelly Hines. Kelly, go ahead. This is Kelly Hines from the Tulsa World. Paul, how do you kind of balance the um, emotion behind this? You know, obviously disappointed with, with the outcome, but um, the pride that you have for what you guys did this season. Yeah, I think what you're proud of is your players, you know. I mean, you're obviously disappointed in a game, but you, you're proud of your players and just how they rally and how they fight and – and, and, and going through the ups and downs that uh, a year like this brings, especially with COVID. And, and, and so you're just, you know, what I'm most proud of is, one, who they are as people, but, two, their resiliency throughout the course of the year. And I think any time that you're around a group of young men like that, you're really sad uh, when it ends. And so um, this will linger with me for a while. Um, usually, uh, postseason depression, if you talk to coaches, is real. And um, this stuff takes a while in order to get over. But I'm just, I'm so proud of who they are as men. Our next question is going to come from Chris DiMaria. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Chris DiMaria from KGRH here in Tulsa. Man, this was an incredible run, one that will go down in history at ORU. What do you think this meant to the school and the alums, all the kids at the Maybe Center right now? What do you think this run meant to everybody back home? Sure. I mean, I've gotten emails and letters and text messages from people all over the world. And, and I'll tell you that what I believe the game of basketball does um, when you're cheering for a team that, that ends up winning is it brings joy, right? Um, people remember how you make them feel. And, and that's why it's important that you make people feel, regardless of, of who they are, um, you make them feel well. I'm a big believer that, that people who are rude to the waiter are really rude people. Um, and, and people who can treat others kindly are going to do it in all facets. So I say all of that to say, I mean, the ones that always grab me are the little kids and, and, and the people who are in hospitals and they say, man, I was having a bad day. And then I watched your guys fight. And, and because of that, put a smile on my face. And the next day I had a, an extra um, jump uh, in my step and, and I was a little bit quicker in order to do things. And I think that's what sports provide. And, and you can't lose sight of that, that, that what's happening here uh, who you are internally is going to get on display externally. And so it's important that we represent ourselves well, and our guys have done that. Our next question is listed as Googium2009. So I would ask that you give your name and your affiliation before asking your question. Go ahead. That's another computer thing signed in. Sorry, but this is Morgan Beers from KTL in Tulsa. Coach, uh, you were talking the other day about how you got to win from inside, win from within. You kind of just touched on it there at the end. Where does this team rank for you, even in this loss, not really even counting this loss, just as a team that you've had as men, as, as guys that you've been able to teach and coach uh, in your career? Yeah, I'll try to say this um, without crying, but it's my favorite team ever. They mean a lot to me. We have time for one or two more questions, if there are any. Right now, I do not see any. If you have a question for Coach, please use the raise hand function. We're going to go back. OK, we do have a question. We're going to go back to Austin Montgomery. Austin, go ahead. Uh, Coach, it's Austin Montgomery from Mid-Major Madness. Can you just talk about uh, Max had just had, a, had just one of those insane performances this entire March run? Can you just talk about what he means to the program and how how like what Jordan is to coach him during yeah, this time. I, I, I don't think it's insane to to us. I mean, it may be insane to others, but it's it's actually not insane to us. Um, I'm very much aware of his work ethic. I'm very much aware of his character. I'm very much aware of his diligence. 
and and this may be an eye opener to the outside and and Max deserves every bit of it but he he's such a high character young man and and what was on display is what I've been fortunate to see um since since he arrived on campus even before that but he has absolutely wonderful parents um he has wonderful siblings and he's supported um from us and, and, and from obviously his family. And so uh, it's, it's not insane to anybody in our locker room. Okay, we're gonna take two more questions. We're gonna go with Daniel Rodriguez and then Eric Olson, but we're gonna start with Daniel. Go ahead, Daniel. Well, hey coach, I just simply wanted to ask, how will you and, and the team remember this, this entire run, um, maybe 10, 15, 20 years down the line, looking back on it? Yeah, I don't. I don't know that answer, Daniel. Um, you know, I, I'm proud, but I mean, you always think that you're capable of so much more, and, and not that I'm disappointed in this group at all. Um, but you, you always think that, you know, a shot here, a shot there. If Coach Mills doesn't get a technical foul, just how different this stuff could play out. So. I, I'll live with the technical foul for a minute, and and, and that that'll help me down the road. But um, yeah, it's it's hard to put in perspective just what's going to happen 10, 15, 20 years from now. And our last question is from Eric Olson. Eric, go ahead. Yes, uh, Coach. What uh, was it? The offensive foul that you got the technical over, and was it? And what did you say to get the technical? One, I don't curse, um, so I never cursed. Um, there was a play earlier where Justin Smith ran over one of our guys, Kevin O'Banner, and lowered the shoulder, and it was a no call. And so when they, when we got the same call, I just said that's the same call that's the same call and they said well you can't yell and in my mind it's the only way that you can overcome the noise you have to raise your voice and and I just told them it's the same call and um, that was it and and they gave me a technical foul coach we appreciate you taking the time thank you, thank you very much. all right we're gonna have sophomore guard Max Acemus here in just a minute once again, if you have questions for Max, uh, I ask that you use the raise hand function. And when you are called upon, please give your name and your affiliation. Again, uh, Max cannot see you and he cannot see a list of who's on this call. So please give your name and affiliation when you're called upon. So we have sophomore guard, sophomore guard Max Acemus, we're going to go right to questions. We're going to start uh, with Pat Forty. Pat, go ahead. Yeah, Max. Hi, Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated. I would just, if you could, please run us through the last play uh, from your experience and vantage point on the floor. Yeah, I mean the play was uh, get get me on a run um, and then um, make the right read, um, and, and we got a good look. I just I, I didn't hit it. Our next question is going to come uh, from Morgan Beard. Morgan, go ahead. Hey, Max. Morgan Beard, K2L here in Tulsa. Uh, Coach, it's pretty emotional just now, obviously. He said this is by far his favorite team he's ever been a part of. Uh, for you, where does it rank as just guys, friends, teammates, as any team from high school till now that, that you've been a part of? Oh yeah, this is up there for sure. Um, just a group of guys, just all the work we put in all season, uh, all the adversity we face. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, nobody thought we would be here. And so just to see all the guys and see everything that we accomplished is definitely up there. Uh, some I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. All right, our next question comes from Dan Walken. Dan, go ahead. Yeah, Max, Dan Walken from USA Today. Just from your perspective, how, how close did you come to hitting that shot? And if you had it over again, is there anything you would have done different? Uh, I mean, nothing I would have done different. I mean, I guess uh, shoot it up a little bit more. But I mean, when it left my hands, it felt good. And um, it ended up coming up short. And uh, we ended up, we didn't get the job done. 
Our next question comes from Chris D. Maria. Chris, go ahead. Hey, Max. Chris D. Maria from KJRH here in Tulsa. Um, man, you've been holed up in the bubble over these last couple weeks. Uh, do you have a sense of what this run has meant to your fellow students, to the alums back home? Um, do you know what this means to them and, and how much they've been able to celebrate you guys? Yeah, I, mean, I know it means uh, everything to them. Uh, I know that they're all proud of us um, just for what we've been able to accomplish. I mean, even coming into the tournament, we all knew that it was bigger than us. And uh, we wanted to, um, you know, represent the university to the best of our abilities. And so um, that's just what we, the mindset we had every, every night coming out, um, just fighting with each other and um, just loving each other and uh, trying to get wins and just uh, put our you on the map. So uh, we know that all the alums and everybody's proud of us. So um, I think we did, we did our job. Okay, our next question is gonna come from Daniel Rodriguez. Daniel, go ahead. Hey Max, this is Daniel Rodriguez with This League with Daniel. I wanted to uh, ask you, your game is getting recognized all over social media, guys like Kenny Smith and, and Trey Young calling you a pro. What does it mean to get all that recognition from from those guys? Uh, it means a lot, uh, especially guys um, that are high up like them. I mean, guys that are pros or uh, former pros. And so um, it means a lot, but I mean, it's just, uh, that don't change anything now. Um, just continue to work, um, get back in the gym and just uh, keep improving. Uh, next question is going to come from Carter Hill. Carter, go ahead. Hey, Max. Carter Hill with Fifth Quarter. Congratulations on a great season. My question is, is it more disappointment right now from today's result, or has it settled in yet that, oh, wow, we, we really did that and made it to the Sweet 16? I um, mean, yeah, a little bit of both. I mean, um, the, the job wasn't just to get to the Sweet 16. I mean, the job was, of course, to um, get to the national championship and win it. Um, and we came up short, but I mean, all the stuff that we accomplished this season is definitely uh, something that all the guys will uh, celebrate and uh, remember for the rest of our lives. We still have time for a couple of more questions. If you have a question, please uh, raise your hand. We've got another one from Daniel Rodriguez. Daniel, go ahead. Hey, Max, uh, I wanted to ask, how was it preparing for Arkansas this time around, having faced them earlier this season? Uh, I mean, we just, the coaches, they looked at the film uh, from when we played back in December, and um, they watched the film in the tournament. I mean, they watched a lot of uh, film and just put together a good game plan. And so we just go out there looking to execute it, um, and just improving and uh, trying to fix the areas that um, needed to be fixed uh, from that first meeting. We will take one final question if there is one. I do not see one. Uh, if you have one, please use the raise hand function. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, we do have one more, sorry. We have one more, we have one more. this is Carter Hill, so this is your final question. Yeah, Matt, sorry, I just had a quick follow-up. Can you just kind of talk about how much Coach Mills has meant to your program this season? Oh yeah, Coach has meant everything. Uh, all the hard work he's put in. Um, you know, the, the uh, everybody talks about the players, but I mean, from Coach Mills all the way down, all the assistants, they've put in a bunch of work this season and um, you can never thank them enough. Um, all the sacrifices they've made for all of us, um, it, it doesn't go unappreciated. So uh, we appreciate Coach Mills as well as all the other coaches and all that they've done for us this year. Max, we appreciate you taking the time, man. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. Okay, that's it for the Oral Roberts News Conference. Uh, a transcript of Coach Mills' interview will be provided by ASAP Sports at www.ncaa.com slash transcripts. Once again, that's www.ncaa.com slash transcripts. You can also find a recording of this press conference in the NCAA Digital Media Hub at www.ncaa.veritone.com. That's www.ncaa.veritone, V-E-R-I-T-O-N-E. Dot com. Thanks for joining us and everyone have a good night.